So that's why that my mentor said, when you leave, care for the poor and the gospel message intertwined. It's not a cruel message that of judgment. Get cleaned up so you can have this thing called Jesus. It's, hey, we all need grace. We all are in desperate, desperate need of grace. We are all broken. We're all hurting. We all have pain. We all have dysfunction. Every single one of us. And without Jesus, the only thing that really separates me from, from someone who's not a Christ follower is Jesus. And so I find, so I have, I wrote that in my journal. I just keep, man, leave the two intertwined. And you really get the, a gospel of love and grace versus judgment and harshness. So I could talk a lot more. I'm four minutes over. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you guys tremendously. I cannot say thank you enough. Jesse called me last. I don't know when was that? Or emailed me maybe when this whole thing got started and said, hey, we're looking for something to do out here. I, one of the things I want to applaud, um, <laughs> what I love, one of the things I absolutely, when I, was it email? I think email, the, yeah. Or phone call, or what it was. One of the things I actually loved that he said was, hey, we're out here trying to figure out what to do, and we figured instead of starting our own thing, why don't we look at what else is happening and see if we can get involved. That is such a beautiful attitude. I cannot encourage that enough. I wish more churches grabbed hold of that. <laughs> Not because we want all the attention, but because we don't need... Um, 15 food banks around. It's just, it's, now, if there's something we're not doing in the community and you guys have a heart, man, we'll get behind you and say, Jesse, go do it. Go do it. But when it's already in the community, let's not divide, let's pull together. I absolutely applaud that heart. And so I, that was so encouraging to me. And I cannot say thank you enough. Because um, that's really, to solve these problems, we've got to learn to work together. We're one big family. We practice it a little different on Sundays, but we're all one family. I will say this, and I don't know if some of you may have gotten these in the mail already. If not, I brought copies for you tonight. This was a mailing that went out a week or two ago. So if you didn't get one in the mail, that means you're not on our mailing list, and that's which is fine. You don't need to be on our mailing list, but I did bring them tonight. You can have one and take it home. It kind of gives a snapshot of the last couple months, and um, you get to see some pictures and some stories and stuff like that. So I have these here for you. And with that said, can I pray for you? Can I do that? And then, was that on the... No, nope, go I'm not sure. Okay. We'll <laughs> never say no to prayer. Okay. <laughs> God, thank you so much um, for this opportunity to be here. Um, God, I love the local church. Um, I pray for the church right now. I have sat with so many pastors in the last couple months that have just been, that are tired and worn out. COVID has thrown a lot at the local church. Um, and uh, I, so I pray for encouragement and nourishment for, uh, for Pequay EC, for their leaders, for their, um, their congregation. God, help them through this time not to get politicized and not to fight silly battles about masks and all the other stuff that is, that is barking for our attention. But help us, help this church to love each other well allow for difference and growth and, and God, allow for the opportunity to step in and love well. Um, I pray for that. I pray for that. God, you were a light to the world. And, man, I, it's not about all the laws we follow, but what makes us a light is right now, more than ever, we can shine with the message of grace and hope and love, something that is so desperately needed in this world. Um, so I thank you. Thank you for this church. Thank you for Jesse. Thank you. I know they've been through a journey. Um, God, and I just pray for their future. Pray for, uh, bless them. Bless them richly. Help them as they look out at their community, as they figure out how do we serve our community? How do we, how do we love each other well? And then love our community. And what do we do with limited resources? And all the stuff the churches face. God, bless them uh, richly. And God, thanks for the factory. And all that. Um, all that we get to do together as a community and uh, see lives transformed by the message of Jesus Christ. God, we love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's leave these